Hello everyone, I Inder P Singh, faculty of BBA department from Technia Institute of Advanced Studies. Today, I will be going to explain strategic management process in this lecture. First, let me tell you about the importance of strategic management. First, it guides the company to move in a specific direction. It defines the organization goals and fixes realistic objectives which are in alignment with the company's vision. Second, it assists the firms in becoming proactive rather than reactive to make it analyze the actions of the competitors and take necessary steps to compete in the market instead of becoming spectators. Third, it acts as a foundation for all key decisions of the firm. Next, it attempts to prepare the organization for future challenges and play the role of pioneer in exploring opportunities and also helps in identifying ways to reach those opportunities. Next, it ensures the long-term survival of the firm while coping with competitors and surviving the dynamic environment. Next, it assists in the development of core competencies and competitive advantage that helps in the business of survival and growth. Now let's discuss the stages of strategic management process. First step is formulation phase. Strategy is formulated to achieve the objectives of the firm which in turn are derived from the mission and vision of the organization. Vision means the desired position which an organization wants to achieve. Mission is the second level in the hierarchy. It describes the reason for the existence of an organization. Next, environmental scanning is done to identify the opportunities and threats which the organization will face in future. Goals and objectives refer to the end result which an organization strives for. Goals represent what an organization wishes to accomplish in future. On the other hand, Objectives specify how the goals shall be achieved. Second step is implementation phase. After formulation of strategy, the chosen strategy is implemented. Strategic implementation is an ongoing process. Many a times, excellent strategy failed because of poor implementation. It is required in every organization to proper implement the strategies by keeping every crucial step in mind so that it may not backfire. Third step in strategic management process is evaluation and controlling phase. Strategic evaluation and control may be defined as the process of determining the effectiveness of the chosen strategy in achieving the organization's objectives and taking care of corrective action whenever necessary. So I hope you have understood the lecture. For more videos like this, kindly subscribe Technia TV. Thank you very much.